in a world where taxi drivers are rude. One man decided to change everything. He decided that taxis should drive themselves. Huh? How did I get in this taxi? The door open. You got in. That you should play your games while you ride. That your games and apps should follow you from taxi to taxi. Get to any different taxi. Continue your game. That you should get a hint when there's a food place nearby. Brian, Chow Mao's Burgers is around the corner. Are you hungry? Yes, I'm starving. Let's do that. Okay. We will stop at Chow Mao's Burgers. What would you like? I have a cheeseburger and a soda. Order has been placed. Pulling into the drive-through. Thank you. The taxi service is so cheap. You do not need to own your own car. I never like driving anyway. A taxi that notices when a passenger is drunk and drives him home. Brian, you seem a little tipsy. Let me drive you home. Okay. A taxi that takes you where you want to go, even if you don't know. Hey, Robo Taxi, I'm in a pinch. It's my wedding anniversary. Can you please suggest something nice? There is a place called Crystal Cove in Newport Beach. Would you like to go there? Yes, please. Thank you. A taxi that calls 911 immediately after an accident. You have been hit from behind. I am placing a request for an ambulance and police. No thanks. I'm fine. That's not necessary. I have sent the crash information to the insurance company. Your claim has been processed. Since they are at fault, their insurance will take care of any injuries you have received. The other car's information has been recorded. Wow, that's great! Thank you. Coming soon to Tesla Robo Taxi. Hi, thanks for watching today's video. I'm Brian, the Finance Ninja. I don't want to waste your time, so let's get to it. In today's video, I'm going to discuss additional revenue streams that Tesla will gain on top of their per mile charge for a robo taxi. Guess what? I have a special surprise for you. I have updated my price target for Tesla's robo taxi to take into account the information mother load you're about to see in this video. You'll find my updated six robo taxi valuation models in this video. So make sure you stick around for it. It is a can't miss. I will start off with a disclaimer about the video that you just saw. Then I will talk about each piece of Tesla RoboTaxi ancillary revenue in more detail. After that, I will go into a broader view of just how exactly Tesla will dominate the taxi network so that nobody can compete. Then I will discuss my six updated valuation models. First up is a disclaimer and a little bit more information about the commercial that you just saw. What you just saw was a mock commercial that I created. Just me. I am not affiliated with Tesla. Tesla has nothing to do with this video. Tesla has nothing to do with this mock commercial. This mock commercial is just an example of where I expect Tesla RoboTaxi to go. Neither Elon Musk nor Tesla has confirmed nor denied any of these features, but I expect them all to be included. With that said, if Tesla needs any help with PR, I'm available. Kidding aside, how did you like my impression of the late, great Don LaFontaine? For those that don't know, he was THE movie trailer voiceover guy. He did virtually every movie trailer for a very long time. In fact, here's a Geico commercial about him. Paula Sela is a real Geico customer, not an actor. So to help tell her story, we hired that announcer guy from the movies. When the storm hit, both our cars were totally underwater. In a world where both of our cars were totally underwater. We thought it would take forever to get some help. But a new wind was about to blow. With Geico, we had our check in two days. Payback. This time, it's for real. Geico. Real service, real savings. And here's a movie trailer clip with him as the narrator. Terminator 2. Judgment Day. This time, he's back for good. That voice. 
So, how did you like my Donald Bunton impression? Tell you what, give me a like for at least trying. It was fun. You should try it sometime. Next up is Tesla's RoboTaxi Ancillary Revenues. Please note, neither Elon Musk nor Tesla has said they will do any of these. But I expect each of these features to be in the Tesla RoboTaxi service as they will all generate a significant amount of cash flow. And most won't cost much to implement, which means cash flow will go straight to the bottom line. Most of these features will be Tesla exclusive due to their vertical integration. Playing games while you ride? This one is easy. The new Model S Plaid already has this feature. And let's face it, this infotainment center was not built for the Plaid. I believe it was built for the RoboTaxi service. This will generate billions of dollars a year alone. There's a console for the front seats as well as the back seats. And they already play games up to a PS5 level performance. So the infotainment center is already built and tested and deployed today. All Tesla has to do is go and say, yes, I want this in the RoboTaxis, and there it is. Poof. Done. Next up is a user account system where your games and apps follow you from taxi to taxi. Think of it like Apple's App Store or Google Play. So you can purchase games and apps to keep you entertained while you ride. How it can work is this. RoboTaxi can have their own online store where you can purchase games and apps to keep you entertained while you ride. Your purchases are tied to your RoboTaxi account. Tesla will get a cut of this sale. Standard practice for the industry is about 30%. That's about what Apple, Google, and Steam charge. So if you buy a $60 game, Tesla will get $18 for that purchase. When you summon a car, the car will download your games and apps while it drives to your pickup location so your game will be ready once it gets there to pick you up. When the taxi drops you off, you save your progress back to Tesla's cloud network so you can continue your game on your next trip. Tesla also has an option to have a small monthly fee for this feature. Perhaps call it RoboTaxi Plus, where you get access to the infotainment center for, let's just say, $5 a month. As you can see, Apple started giving small businesses a lower royalty rate of 15%. If you make less than a million dollars in revenue, you pay 15% instead of the standard 30%. However, there's a catch. These small businesses only account for 5% of the App Store's total revenue last year. The other 95% still pay the standard 30% royalty. I expect Tesla to also charge 30%. It's basically the industry standard. The next question is, how much do these stores make? The answer is a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. As a reference, Apple made $22 billion in commissions from their App Store in 2019. These stores generate huge cash flows. Google Play generated $40 billion in revenue in the year 2020. If you factor in Google's 30% cut, that means that Google made $12 billion in commissions from Google Play last year. Phew! Likewise, it is estimated that Steam generated $4.3 billion in revenue in 2017 alone. For those that don't know, Steam is an online game store for the Windows and Mac PCs. I don't think it's unreasonable for Tesla RoboTaxi to generate $10 billion in yearly commissions 10 years from now. Next up is a hint when a food place is nearby. Have you noticed that Google Maps now announces food places during your drive? It says something like, turn right just after such and such. That's not there out of the goodness of their hearts. That is a clever advertisement. Tesla can, and I expect will, do the same. In fact, Tesla can go one step further and ask you for your order and send the order to the food place taking a cut of the proceeds. This can work for hotel rooms also. Same for planning a day trip or a meal with their special someone, where you can directly ask the taxi for a place and it will offer a suggestion and take a cut. While Google does not break out how much money it makes from Google Maps, Camille Furnick estimated that Google makes $3.5 billion a year from ads on Google Maps. That's a lot of dough. I think Tesla RoboTaxi can do something similar in 10 years since Tesla will have the added bonus of taking people's orders and getting a cut of sales, etc. 
Things like taking you to a scenic place is more of a value add in my opinion. The customer will be charged per mile, but it's mostly a value add for the customer for the service. This will convince more people to use Tesla RoboTaxi. Now this is where Tesla can get a little tricky. The route to the scenic place can be clever though, and take them to a scenic route that will have lots of food places and other places for passengers to spend money, and Tesla get a cut nearby. A taxi service so cheap you do not need to own your own car. I expect that if the price per mile gets below 60 cents per mile, people in cities will start ditching their cars and going robo-taxi only. The drive you home if you are drunk bit is also a value add. Parents will prefer their children taking a Tesla robo-taxi if the robo-taxi will drive them home if they are inebriated. It can be part of robo-taxi plus. Insurance claim processing is also a value add. Since Tesla will own the insurance company, they can get insured at cost. No other taxi company will be able to be price competitive here. Also, due to vertical integration, claims can be processed immediately due to Tesla's data feed and AI. Again, only Tesla would be able to do this since they build the cars and run the insurance company. Comment down below, what do you think about these ideas? Do you think Tesla will implement them? Tesla will dominate the taxi network. It's not even a question. Why? It's very simple. Tesla is vertically integrated and every facet of the taxi experience is directly controlled by Tesla. If they want to add something, they can add it without asking a supplier. Tesla has, right now, an infotainment system on the level of a PS5, an insurance company, full self-driving Beta 8.2 with Beta 9 on the way. Yes, this is a picture of Tesla's supercomputer. This is not a stock photo. Tesla has the fifth fastest supercomputer in the world, working on their neural net for their full self-driving. Tesla is the only autonomous driving company gearing towards generalized full self-driving. No cars on tracks or geofenced areas. Tesla has the ability to build their own fleet to their own specs. Tesla will soon unleash Dojo, which will replace this supercomputer. Dojo will be even faster and will be more tailored for neural networks. Tesla will have, soon, connection to Starlink. This will be used to download the customer's games onto the taxi without the need to connect to a cell network, which will save costs. Starlink will be used, in my opinion, to beam data to Tesla insurance immediately after an accident, including the last 60 seconds before said accident. I expect Tesla Insurance to have its own neural network to process these claims automatically and quickly. Tesla Insurance will be rolled out nationwide. It is only in select areas right now. Things to be built. First, the RoboTaxi app. Second, RoboTaxi user accounts. Collaboration with food companies, hotels, travel agencies, etc. Those companies will go to Tesla to get added and Tesla will get a cut. Not much work on Tesla's end. Take your order and send it to the food place. Frankly, this takes deeper integration and I think it will take longer to implement than the others, but Tesla would get a cut of this according to the plan. It is hard to estimate revenue from this right now, but I have an idea, but I'm still further researching this. Full self-driving needs to be finalized and ready for production, along with government approvals. As you can see, Tesla does not use HD maps or LiDAR. They are also removing radar since it is unreliable. I'm hoping for great things from FSD Beta version 9, which will release soon. Andre Carpathy gave an awesome in-depth deep dive into Tesla Vision AI a week ago. I highly suggest you watch it if you haven't already. Click the link above to see Andre's presentation as well as my take on it. In my opinion, we got AI day early. I'll give you a hint. Tesla is leaps and bounds ahead of Everybody. The solution the competitors are going after is doomed to fail since HD maps won't be updated fast enough. A generalized full self-driving experience is the only true solution to this problem. And only Tesla is pursuing it. Others are happy being geofenced. Tesla is not. Now let's dig into the numbers to see how I arrived at the possibility of a $14,000 valuation. This is split into two parts cost per mile, and an operating statement. You can get access to this spreadsheet and all the other spreadsheets at my Patreon. The link is in the description. 
you'll be able to download it and play with the numbers to see what you can come up with. The spreadsheets have the calculations built in. First, let's figure out how much it costs to operate a Tesla RoboTaxi per mile. This will be used in the estimated operating statement. I'm assuming a RoboTaxi is average 50,000 miles per year, since these cars can run 16 hours a day with no driver. Tire lifespan of 50,000 miles. Cost to replace four tires at $500. I'm assuming Tesla wants good quality tires to help prevent accidents, but can buy in bulk to reduce cost. Cleaning services per year of $2,000 and servicing of $200 per year. That equates to per mile, tires one cent, charging three cents, cleaning four cents, servicing four tenths of a cent for a total cost per mile of 8.4 cents. Let's move on to the estimated operating statement. See the new field I added? I added other revenue. This is the ancillary revenue I discussed in this video. I split the chart into two segments. One without a big transition from owning a personal vehicle to robo-taxis, the other with the big transition. I do not know the huge transition will take place, so I am pricing for both scenarios. Let's start the numbers for without a big transition. First off, without autonomous driving, Uber and Lyft will be taken out by Tesla. I think Tesla will take most or all of their business, as well as add new customers since Teslas will be so cheap per mile. Keep in mind that I'm assuming Tesla owns these vehicles. Let's start with the without transition bulk case. Car count of 5 million, miles per year 50,000. Utilization is the amount of miles driven that is charged. I put it at 50%, which I believe is small, as Tesla will have an efficient pathing system, so their cars spend more time driving people than driving empty. The reason utilization is a factor is because it affects the cost per mile. Cars will incur a cost per mile whether they are transporting somebody or not. Price per mile includes the possibility of multiple passengers in a car at the same time. The number may seem high, but when you take into account multiple passengers, it is not. That makes the billable miles to 25,000. Price per mile dollar twenty. And now for this video's input, other revenue of twenty billion dollars. So total revenue is now one hundred seventy billion dollars. Cost per mile of 8.4 cents. That makes for a cost of revenues of $21 billion. All told, that is a gross profit of $149 billion. Depreciation of $7.5 billion. Insurance, etc. of $10.4 billion. SGNA of $2.5 billion. I increased the R&D budget to $1 billion to account for the ancillary revenues. Operating expenses of $21.4 billion. Operating income of $127 billion. PE of 60, market cap $7.6 trillion. Yes, the biggest company in the world. Share count 963,000. That gives you a share price of $7,950 per share. The main difference between the bull and bear cases is the car count decreases, price per mile decreases, and other revenue decreases. So the bear case share price in 2031 is $3,151. Also, keep in mind these numbers are for RoboTaxi alone. It does not take into account auto, insurance, or anything else. Also, these numbers are without a big transition. Now, if Tesla can get the price below 60 or 70 cents per mile, I predict people will gradually begin to eschew owning a vehicle to taking Tesla's RoboTaxi service everywhere. Will this happen? It's hard to say right now, but I think many people will, especially in cities. If it does happen, strap on your seatbelts. It's about to get fun. Now let's discuss the with a big transition numbers. Let's start with the with a big transition bull case. Car count 20 million, price per mile of 70 cents. Other revenue, again, this is from this video, of $50 billion. Total revenue of $400 billion. Operating income of $233 billion. With the PE of 60, this gives you a market cap of $14 trillion and a share price of $14,500. Similar differences between the bull and bear cases, the car count decreases, price per mile decreases, and other revenue decreases. So, the bear case share price in 2031 is $2,750. Getting excited? I sure am. As you can see, this is all feasible. All are either direct revenue and profits or value adds. And the best part? 
is that many of these only Tesla can do due to their vertical integration. So what other avenues can Tesla take RoboTaxi? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Get early access to my videos, instant trade notifications, my spreadsheets, and more by joining my Patreon. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.